Hi, it's Miss Powers and Hudson. We're here to make a sensory bucket for the very hungry caterpillar. The first thing we're gonna do is pour rice into our bucket. There we go. Next, oops, I still have some rice on the bottom of the bucket that I'm gonna take out. Good, Hudson has some measuring spoons and he's gonna measure the rice. Yeah, I'm a great measure. Next, we're gonna take an old container of lentils. I've got green lentils and brown lentils, and we're gonna pour them into our sensory bucket. There you go, Hudson, thank you. So you can help your mom or dad do the same. Next, we're gonna make a very hungry caterpillar. So I found three different bowls, two of this size, two little ones, and we're gonna line them up inside the, can I just take a picture of that? Inside the bucket, and it's gonna be the caterpillar's body. So if you can see that, keep them in the sensory bucket, everything stays in the bucket. Good. See that you can't see it. Here's our sensory bucket. There. Okay. So now we have the caterpillar's body and its head and its other body part. Oops. Next, we are going to add just different cups and measuring cups of different sizes. Keep it in the sensory bottle, bucket. You can do um, a strainer, just like we use at school. I'm gonna put a small one in because it's a small bucket. And we're gonna put in measuring cups and measuring spoons. And on Friday, we're going to find out how many spoons it takes to fill up the cup. Hudson, there's one, two, three, here we go, four, keep going, good. So Hudson took, okay, four, now we're up to number five, and we're going to scoop six, and seven. And eight and nine and ten and he took two ten scoops oh I think he's gonna get an eleventh one in here and eleven it took eleven scoops to put the rice and lentils into the container so if you'll do this at home and we'll do it together on Friday, I'll be so excited to see you then. Bye-bye.